Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at a brand new product. It's the 2020 Top Series 1 Tins, which are available only at your local Walmart. So I went into Walmart the other day and I saw nine of these just sitting out there and they're $14.99 a piece. So I bought all of them and I figured we'd open them all up in this video and see what we can expect out of this product so you can see on the front there are different players i found five different players we got vladdy jr we've got mike trout we've got aaron judge we have the recently traded mookie Betts, and we have the um reigning nl mvp cody bellinger on the tins that i found i don't know if there's more players than that but uh, i doubt it because i think uh, the um the stalker for walmart so their card section had literally just been there before I arrived. So we're going to open up. We'll start with Vladdy Jr. And you can see there are some exclusive cards in here. In addition to the 75 cards per 10, or maybe um, it included within those 75 cards, you get an exclusive Chrome Decades Best Insert, five Turkey Red 2020 inserts, and one Chrome Turkey Red 2020 card. So some nice inserts there. Um, for the purchasers of this release. So I don't know what you'd want to do with one of these tins. Personally, I would definitely keep it and use it to stash some cards in, or I don't know, maybe use it as a change bin or something like that. But there's all of the odds for those of you that like the odds. I guess you'll have to put it in slow motion or pause it if you'd like to do so. But we're going to open this up. I asked my um, patrons on Patreon if they would like to buy any of these and they did there's mike c getting the very first tin he's got the vlad tin so he'll get the vlad tin as well as all the cards inside so here we go let's see what we have coming out of tin number one of nine so 75 cards 15 dollars, kind of like a hanger box except instead of throwing the box away you get to keep the cards and inside this is pretty cool nice little pack there on the inside, you get a nice thick um, stack of cards and a little holder, I guess, if you want to put them back in there, which is pretty cool. All right, so pack number one going to Mike C. We have Dylan Cease starting the video off, his rookie card, which isn't too bad. Looking for some of those good rookies that we didn't find last night in my Face Off Friday video. I don't think we found Gavin Lux or Jordan Alvarez, so hopefully we see a couple of those today. There's Mike Clevenger with all those tattoos. Didn't even really realize he had that many tattoos. Matt Olson, Dom Smith, and the good stuff from these are going to be in the middle, so we're going to see all base cards until we get to the middle for the most part. The middle is where all those insert cards are, and probably after the middle is where we're going to have our best chance of finding a short print. Uh, which would be nice. There's Kirby Yates and an Abraham Toro rainbow card. That is a nice one for Mike. Uh, decades best from 1960s, Los Angeles Dodgers. There's a 1985 Mike Trout. like that one a lot. And here are our turkey red cards, the exclusive inserts. We've got Chris Sale. We've got Brendan Rogers and Christian Yelich. Chris Davis, and Yusei Kikuchi. And then we have some Reese Hoskins cards, which Walmart kind of is forcing on us, but we'll take them. And here's our Chrome cards. We have a Chrome Decades Best, Best Teams, New York Yankees. And our Chrome Turkey Red is a Yon Moncada. Very, very nice card there. Those aren't numbered, but still pretty sweet to see. 1980s uh, Decades Best, Ken, not Ken Griffey Jr., Cal Ripken. Getting ahead of myself. I'm sure we'll see Ken Griffey Jr. eventually in there. Jose Urquidy, George Springer, Jake Rogers. We've got a rookie card here of Sam Hilliard. Kike Hernandez, Patrick Corbin, Jesus Aguilar, who I think he won his arbitration case the other day. There's Juan Soto looking at a home run. wonder how many home runs he's going to hit this year. Juan Soto, one of the best young players in the game, arguably the best young player in the game. Amir Garrett likes to fight. Never forget him running into the Pirates' dugout. That's kind of like a career-defining um, move there, taking on an entire team by himself. And there's the rookie card we're after, Jordan Alvarez. Nice one right there. Clayton Kershaw, Ramon Laureano, and Jesus Lusardo rookie ends that first 10. So let me know what you think in the comments, what you think of these 10s. We'll open eight more of these. 
got Mike's cards put away safe and sound, but I really like the fact that you get some exclusive insert cards in each one. Um, some of those are your best chance of finding them are in these tins. So our next one's going to Ryan. We'll do both of Vlad's and we'll just do each player at a time. I don't know how in demand these are going to be. I got my, I'm just, I'll just use scissors. I don't want to scratch the tin and put a big X on it like I usually do with the boxes. You just put a big X out on any box because we're just throwing that away anyway. But the tins, you got to keep the front looking nice. All right, so this is Ryan's tin. I'm having, I have a feeling that these are going to be a little bit tough to come by. You'll have to let me know if you had any luck at your Walmart. They just came out this week. So I feel like if you're not lucky and get there first, it might be tough to find. As the empty tins themselves are selling for around $10 to $15 on eBay. And when these first came out, or when people first started listing them on eBay, I noticed that they were being listed for anywhere between $85 and like $95. And some people actually bought them for that amount. I'm sure they're kicking themselves now as now they're going for, oh, around $25 a piece, which is still pretty good. That's like a $10 markup um, just because there is some demand for these, this brand new product. Christian Yelich, 1991 Tops design. I like that one a lot. And Pete Alonzo, 85 Tops design is a cool one. Then we got a Matt Boyd leading things off the turkey red pile. And Frankie Lindor, Mookie Betts, now the Dodgers, Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. So a nice run there of four major superstars. And then we followed up with Reese Hoskins cards. We got a Chrome Decades Best, Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer there. And Brandon Crawford is the Chrome Turkey Red card in there. And we've got a gold card there of uh, Joey Lucchese, which is a nice one. Always nice to have a gold card if you can find them. Speaking of gold cards, some folks pointed out in the comments section of my previous video that the odds of finding a gold card are supposedly a little harder this year. Uh, and somebody ran the numbers. You'll have to double check it as opposed to 2019. I think they ran the numbers and said there's a 40% increase in production based off of those numbers. That's just hearsay. I guess you'll have to get a pack of 2019 tops and 2020 tops and run the numbers for yourselves, but that's kind of interesting. Um, that tells us that there is lots of demand for this product, uh, which is good. We want baseball cards to come back, but we also want to make sure that uh, we don't enter another junk wax era like what happened way back in the 90s, which if you're my age, you remember all of that, spending so much money on cards and then, and then the bottom falling out. But anyway, we got Aaron Judge now. This one's going to Mike. Aaron Judge, who uh, a lot of people now feel had the 2017 MVP award stolen from him by Jose Altuve. I know Aaron Judge made a an Instagram post congratulating Jose Altuve back in 2017 on the MVP, and he has since deleted it because I think he said he felt like it might not have been earned. So the Astros story is the story that just on or just keeps on giving. Um, lots of drama, and I'm sure that drama is going to continue well into the season, especially as the Astros go from town to town, city to city, and deal with all of the rowdy fans that will be awaiting them at each and every stop. Anyway, this is Mike's. There's got a Tony Gonsolin rookie card. Bo Bichette rookie card. Very nice. It's one of the top five, I would say, of this set. Bo Bichette is going to be a good one. Tim Anderson. Manny Machado, Dwight Smith Jr., and we have a rainbow parallel of Marco Gonzalez, Eddie Matthews, and we have our inserts coming up. Robel Garcia, 1985, tops design at Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, 85. We've got Eddie Rosario, and then we've got Jose Altuve, just talking about him. Nolan Arenado and Luis Castillo, possible future signing award winners, and then they're forcing these Reese Hoskins cards on us at every turn. But if you're a Phillies fan, that would be cool. There's the decade's best, Barry Larkin, Chrome. And Shohei Otani is our turkey red. And for good measure, another Reese Hoskins card. Let's see if we can find a Jordan Alvarez. And we have not yet seen Gavin Lux. Looking out for Gavin Lux. Hopefully he's coming up soon. There's Austin Nola. Aaron Nola's little brother. There's a Pete Alonso Gold Cup cards. As a kid, I used to be a big fan of the Gold Cup cards. I used to love those a lot. 
Those are the top rookie at each position around the diamond. There's Bryce Harper. And if I'm not mistaken, we have not yet seen a short print. What the heck is this? Big air, big hair, Keston Hira. Um, and who is the other guy? Is that Hater going crazy yet? Keston Hira and Ben Gamel. Ben Gamel take flight. Had to double check that for a second. Los Angeles Dodgers team card, Andrew Heaney. Sandy Alcantara, Frankie Lindor, who's going to be a $300 million man at some point. Make sure you pick up his rookie cards before it's too late. He gets better every single year. So, Mike, thank you for, very much for purchasing that Judge Tin. Hopefully you got some cards you saw that you liked. Next up, let's see the other Judge Tin. This one is for James S. A little slit on the side. Get it started for me. I think this is a pretty good deal. $14.99, actually, or a tin. What are some uses that you could have for the tins, I wonder, besides just using it as a little change jar? Possibly, I'm sure some folks will find various different things to do with these. I guess you could take out your top 75 or so cards, put them in the penny sleeves and keep them in a tin. Some people might use it to put aside their good rookies, so as you compile 2020 tops cards take out your top rookies like your alvarez's and your gavin lux cards and your boba shets sleeve them up and keep them in the tins possibly that's another idea there's nick senzel future star card nico gold drum as my uh, voice starts to tighten up a little bit hopefully i can make it through this box before having to stop and get a drink of water there's boba shet mike fires the infamous mike fires he's gonna be good out in history as the uh, whistleblower that blew the lid off the Astros scandal, much the same as Jose Canseco, kind of gets credit for um, blowing the whistle on the whole steroid era. Chris Archer, who, by the way, now is without his uh, his dreadlocks. He shaved those off or cut those off. There's Pujols, Tim Anderson, Turkey Red, Miggy Cabrera, and Low Kane. Some more Reese Hoskins cards. George Brett, Decade's Best Chrome. And we have a Chris Bryant very nice looking Chris Bryant turkey red chrome card. I like chrome. Can't wait for that to come out. Usually it comes out right around a little bit after the All-Star game or so. Maybe mid to late July. We'll have Series 2 coming before that. at Mid-June, I think like June 10th. Looking forward to that release. There's the Gavin Lux. So we're looking for Gavin Lux, talking about him. And we found him. That's our first Gavin Lux. So a pretty nice representation we found um, one Jordan Alvarez, one Gavin Lux, and one Bo Bichette so far through four of these boxes. There's our second Jesus Lusardo that we've seen today. Miggy Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, Tyler Alexander, rookie card, Daniel Murphy, Bobby Bradley, and Andrew Heaney, our second time seeing him. So, James, thank you very much for buying into this tin preview. Kind of cool that Tops is coming up with new ideas to make money, I guess, or... You know, give us some different options for us card collectors. So we have a lot of different ways that we can buy tops. You can buy hobby packs or jumbo packs. Or you can go the retail route and buy the retail packs that have 16 cards in a pack for $2.99. You can buy the fat packs for about 5 bucks. The hanger boxes for 10 bucks. You can buy these tins for 15 bucks. You can buy blaster boxes for 20 By the way, this is for Jason K., on top, you got Melky Cabrera. There's also blister packs where you get three individual retail packs for, I think it's three retail packs, for $9.99 plus a special card. I saw those at Target. Not sure if those are really worth it, though, especially um, I think you can get retail packs for like $3 a piece. I don't know if that's much extra value whatsoever. There's Aloy Jimenez's rookie card. I'll have my eye on him this year as he finished the season really strong last year, and we'll see if he can follow that up. Logan Allen rookie card. There's Yachty Molina. Brendan McKay rookie card. I'm a fan of his because I like players that can do it all, hit and pitch. wonder if we're entering into an era where we see more of those types of players, hitters and pitchers. There's Chris Sale, 85. Fernando Tatis Jr. is a nice one right there. Turkey Red, Paul Goldschmidt. Max Scherzer, future Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Then we have a Kyle Lewis card there, rookie card. That's a nice one. And we have a Sean Murphy rookie from the um, 
Athletics, a couple more Reese Hoskins cards. Don Mattingly, decades best. Ozzy Albies, Chrome. It's a nice one right there. Ozzy Albies signed a very team friendly contract. The Braves will have him under control for a lot longer at a nice deal. There's the Franimal, Franimal Reyes, hit like 37 home runs last year. Yep, 27 for the Padres and 10 for the Indians. A little bit of low batting average, but the guy can definitely mash. Roberto Osuna, and then we have this soaking it in card again. Another Juan Soto. I think that's the third Soto that we've seen today, which is fine and dandy with me as he's one of my favorite players. Our second Gavin Lux rookie card. That's a nice one. Future star card of Kevin Biggio. Sometimes when I see these cards, I'm going through quickly. I think it's like a pink parallel because of that background, and I have to slow down and double check. Lucas Giolito had a great season last year. Took out that earned run average. Comeback player of the year there. Zach Gallen. Look for big things from him. He's a top prospect with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We'll see if he makes the rotation, but he's got his rookie cards out there in 2020 tops. Also, he has an 85 tops design rookie card that you might want to keep an eye out for. And Bobby Bradley rookie card is the last one for Jason. Part of the uh, Indians outfield possibilities. So Jason had the Bellinger. I think we have one other Bellinger that we'll do. And this one goes to Blake. Thank you, Blake, for participating in this video. I was thinking about doing this video live originally, but I thought, eh, I got nine of these. And uh, I didn't feel like driving around to every single Walmart in my area and taking all of them. I figured we'd leave some for you guys. All right, so we've got Tommy Edmond, future star card on the top. We'll see if that moniker comes true sometimes tops really really misses on their future star predictions you can think back about some of the future star cards that cards that we've seen and um, some guys never even basically stuck in the majors for more than a cup of coffee christian yelich league leaders we'll see if he can finish it up with the third great year in a row runner up for the mvp last year might have won it if he didn't get hurt the last month of the season jorge soler your American League batting home run king, or home run king, I should say. Won it because Mike Trout got hurt. Nico Horner, rookie card. We'll see if he finds a spot in the Cubs opening day lineup or breaks camp with the team. Usually a lot of times teams will try to keep those players down in the minors for a few months to maintain some extra salary flexibility over them. There's a nice die-cut 60s card of Sandy Koufax. Then we have an 85, Frankie Lindor. I like those 85 designs a lot. Love that set. Zach Granke, Justin Verlander, a couple Houston Astros. And then we have Josh Bell, Blake Snell, and Gavin Lux. Very nice. A Gavin Lux turkey red. So getting some nice cards out of these tins. A couple more Reese Hoskins <coughs> cards. And there's a 90 decades best Thomas. And our chrome turkey red is... The no longer Major League Baseball player, Adam Jones. He's no longer in the big leagues. He is over in Japan. Chase Anderson, gold. That's a nice one. Adam Jones had a pretty good season last year with the D-backs. Signed a little little kind of like uh, one-year deal, I think, for $4 million back then. And made the most of it and turned it into a two-year deal overseas. Another Gavin Lux. So Gavin Lux seems to always follow up Kenley Jansen. Is, I guess, nice if you like predictability. And we've got three tins left after this one. I think that's our third or fourth Jesus Lusardo. And we wrap it up with yet another Andrew Heaney. So thank you very much, Blake. We're going to open up the Mike Trouts now. I think Trout might be the most sought after of the tins. I kind of have a sneaking suspicion. But since he is the best player in baseball, this tin is probably going to be the one everybody's after. I feel like I might have seen empty trout tins selling for 20 bucks on eBay. So Ross gets this one. Let's see what we can find for you. I know if I had to choose a tin to keep the, um, I don't know, just collect cards, and I likely would probably choose the trout one. As out of all of the players that we've seen so far, the five on the front of the tins, trout would be my favorite. All right, so let's see what we can pull for Ross. 75 cards, one big pack for you. When I go and um, package these up for you, I'll just take these and put them into two or three team bags instead of trying to recycle that little 
um, ripped open bag there. So here we go. Tim and Yolmer, Steven Strasburg, Orlando Arcia, there's Wade Davis. We've already seen a lot of these cards already today and in previous breaks. So we'll start to get right down to the meat and potatoes of the pack, the middle of the pack. We'll also just check out for any rookies. There's Aaron Judge base card, Annabelle Sanchez, rainbow card. Then we have Warren Spawn, Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy, nice 1985 tops card. A lot of people, big fans of Dale Murphy on this channel. There's Chris Bryant, J.D. Martinez, Ronald Acuna Jr., our first time seeing that one. That's a nice-looking card there with the background, the sky, and stuff. Then we have a Brian Anderson who might pop, I don't know, 20, 30 home runs this year. You never know. He might surprise everybody. We have Masahiro Tanaka and a couple more Reese Hoskins cards. And now we get to the Chrome, Decades Best Detroit Tigers team card, and Nick Senzel. That's a nice one. Looking for big things from Nick Senzel. A little bit of a disappointing rookie year for him. Um, didn't really impress all that much, but he's got a ton of potential, and uh, he could really break through this year and send those rookie card values up. There's Mike Trout. I actually think that's the first Trout card that we found. That's pretty nice, finding a Trout in the Trout tin. If you're a Trout fan, you would definitely like that one. What else do we have here? I, I really dislike how the cards get flipped back and forth all the time. I don't know if there's any way for Tops to remedy that or not. It's just a little annoying when you're trying to sort through them. Craig Kimbrell, we'll see if he um, can do better this year with the Cubs. Um, let's go back to that Kimbrell card. Craig Kimbrell, if you would have asked me last year, I would have said he was on a Hall of Fame track just so bad last year. His earned run average with the Cubs was 653, and he's got a 208 career Earned run average, that is just way, way outside of the norm for him. And Craig Kimbrell was affected because he didn't have a spring training, had a really, that was Jordan Alvarez, really late signing with the Cubs. And so he missed spring training, and I guess his whole routine was off for the whole season because of that. So maybe now that he is back, um, has a contract with the Cubs, from the get-go, he'll be a lot better. I'm sure the Cubs fans are hoping so. Here's our next one. This is for our good buddy Robert A. Getting the trout tin. Hopefully we find some good stuff for you, Robert. At least a couple good rookie cards in here. That's always the hope. All right, so let's see what we find. A lot of people saying they're having some trouble finding 2020 tops at their local retail locations. I guess there might be some hot spots out there for baseball card collectors where you have a lot of competition. If you don't get them right away, there's people going in there and uh, pillaging the baseball card section of all their cards within a day or two of them stocking. I've noticed that around here after, especially when Tops first came out, they were pretty much all gone within a day. And usually Walmart and Target only stock about once a week. So you've got to wait for the next week to uh, get back in there and try to get some more. But you could always, if you're able to, Check out your local card store and buy from them if there's one nearby. Nick Senzel, Future Star card. Talked about him already today. There's a Derek Dietrich rainbow card with the uh, old-style cutoff um, jerseys that the Reds wore there um, from the 1950s throwback. There's Garrett Cole, Astros card. Cody Bellinger, Charlie Blackman, Turkey Red, Aloy Jimenez, and Wilson Contreras. A couple of Reese Hoskins cards. Ernie Banks, Chrome. And another Sean Murphy rookie card, Chrome from The Athletic. Shane Green, gold card. That's the uh, the best stuff in there, but not always. Sometimes you might find a really good rookie card back here. That's what we're looking for. Keep an eye out for Gavin Lux or Jordan Alvarez or Bo Bichette. You know what I've noticed? We have not fi found an Aristides Aquino card yet. So looking for an Aquino rookie from the Reds. We have not, And we also have not found Dustin May whatsoever so we've opened what seven tins now and have not found Aquino or may which is a little disconcerting but hopefully we find them for you reds and dodgers fans out there that have not seen my other videos where we've pulled those cards so robert thank you very much for purchasing that tin and participating in the video we've only got one tin left one left to go it's Mookie Betts. There's only one Mookie Betts out there. So I don't know if they originally stocked the location with 10 of these tins and somebody just really loved Betts or not. But here we go. Mookie Betts, final 10 of the video. Of course, now he is on the Dodgers. So I don't know if this is going to be a huge, huge seller um, as opposed to the Trout or maybe Judge or Vladdy. But here we go for Patrick. 
Let's see if Betts contains a great card. Thank you very much, by the way, for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button for me. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. As um, It's pretty nice here. It's Saturday on the East Coast. Nice sunny day, finally, after not having any days whatsoever with sun in the Pittsburgh area for the entire month of January. I saw a story about that on the local news. But this weekend, we're getting a little bit lucky with some 45 to 50 degree days. Maybe get outside and go for a little walk. So let's see if we can find a Kino here. All right, and we have, there's Dustin May. I mentioned not finding any of his rookie cards. We finally found one of Dustin May with that crazy hair. We've got a nice rainbow card there. I'll take a rainbow card any day that I can find them. And it's a nice 1970s decade card and a Vladdy Jr. 85 tops design. Or not Vladdy Jr., sorry, Vladdy Sr., the Vladdy Daddy. We got Garrett Cole, Bellinger, Charlie Blackman, Alo Jimenez, and Wilson Contreras. So the, literally the exact same order as before. I think that was in our previous box. We pulled those exact same five cards in that order. We have Jacob deGrom accepting his Cy Young Award there. Chrome card and Jose Altuve turkey red chrome card. We'll have to see how the whole Astros scandal affects his rookie card prices. I think ungraded it's still hovering somewhere around $30. So I don't know if that's going to affect it. I have not looked at the PSA 10s and see if those have been affected. There's Mike Fires once more. And let's see if we can find a Kino in here as we end out this video. Um, hopefully we find at least maybe another Jordan Alvarez. We shall see. Some of you guys can probably call the players coming up. There's Kevin Biggio if you've opened enough of these. Zach Gallon rookie card once more. Hollywood Heroes, there's that big air card again. Big hair, big air. JT Real Muto, who just lost his arbitration case against the Phillies, but don't feel bad for him. He's still going to get about $10 million a year. Jordan Alvarez going out the door with a Jordan Alvarez. Very nice rookie card. The Jordan Alvarez, not very common to see a rookie and a gold cup on there. We only see it a couple times, most recently with Raphael Devers and Alex Bregman, their rookie cards. And we finish off with a nice little run here of Clayton Kershaw, future Hall of Famer, and Ramon Laureano. That's a very nice picture of Laureano getting up. Don't know if he makes the catch or not, but he's a great center fielder and had a really, really nice rookie season for the Athletics last year. So that's it, everybody. I hope you guys like this first look at this brand new product it just literally hit the stores yesterday and you can only get it at walmart so um have fun checking out your local walmart selections and see if you can find these i hope you can again they're 14.99 you get 75 cards plus those insert cards inside and you get to keep the 10 so a nice little added bonus i hope you guys have a great saturday thank you once again for watching and i will see you all later